Okay, so this is a continuation of part two to go over this um, chart image on uh, of the bird click, and on the left hand side of the on your on the screen uh, is the chart image of the ray marine axiom uh, sonar. And on the right hand side is the 3D sonar images. So this video is about 16 minutes long and it's part two of the first sonar video of uh, Berk Lake Park. And you can see this is the fishing pier and this is the uh, boat marina where you can rent boat. But it's closed now because uh, it only opens between, I think, Memorial Day to Labor Day or something in early October um, when the weather is nice. So here we go. And now you can see I'm on my native propel kayak uh, traveling at 2.2 mile per hour. And here is a red dot uh, fish. And the blue color and the green color and the yellow color, meaning uh, fish are in the deeper um, depth, deeper end of the water. So I just changed to uh, try to add it to split the ratio between the two um, panels, the chart. And this is the button that I was trying to use my, it's a touch screen multi-function display. And you can see my boat is also moving. So I'm just sliding this blue button to the left um, to expand and change the split of the screen between the chart and the 3D sonar. And uh, you can see my boat is actually going away from the fishing pier and the boat ramp towards Vesper Island. And I'm traveling at 2.2 miles per hour. Right now, I'm just changing the map to detail map, and it's the Navionics uh, map. And uh, right now, I'm changing, I'm adding data selection. The options are GPS location, local time, depth, water temperature, cursor, course over ground, speed over ground, heading, and more here. You know, um, this is the. Uh, bearing to waypoint, distance to waypoint, battery voltage. If you hook up this multifunction to the uh, 12 volts or 24 volts of battery, it's going to show. Again, I uh, slow down or not pedaling, so that's why my speed is down to 0.6 mile per hour. The water depth is 11 uh, feet. And um, you can see on this chart here. And this is the... 3D where I see more fish and the latitude and the longitude is here and the bearing is 665 feet. One, I'm going again 1.7 feet. I'm turning my kayak. As you can see here, my boat is turning. I started to see more fish and uh, traveling speed over ground is 1.9 mile per hour. And uh, this is to the right of my boat 20 feet. This is to the left of my boat 20 feet. And the water depth is going down, you know, but uh, I kind of lost my, so I quickly adjusted my uh, transducer. I get it back to 20 feet deep. Again, um, I'm trying to uh, build a route between where my boat is to the boat ramp because I'm heading home, um, as you can see here. So um, this scale is saying this distance is 500 feet and, um, you know, from here to here and as you can see my boat is certainly over 100 feet away from the boat ramp and um, probably less than 500 feet from the Vesper Island and again I'm slowing down again water temperature 41.7 degrees it's very cold Fahrenheit and I can see these red dots fish you know floating um, you know floating uh, in the water and I'm turning my kayak again here and you can see I'm also going back to my page setting I added the data layout you know to change to add uh, heading okay and actually I'm deleting the heading so it says are you sure yes so I'm deleting the heading in a sec and uh, right now I'm in the um, editing the personal data to overlay 
on top of the chart and also um, so I just deleted are you sure yes delete so that's gone and I'm going back to add another uh, data um, to overlay on top of the um, so you can see these options cursor position water temperature depth these two are already on the um, thing that I added so I decided to you know so this is the waypoint so this is the uh, BTW which I just added this data which is the bearing to waypoint meaning the direction to waypoint and here's my kayak started drifting and that's why these weird strange things so there's my longitude and there is the uh, route plotting out for me back to the boat ramp as you can see here and uh, I started to pick up speed and turn my uh, kayak around um, to head back to the boat ramp and I st started to see in my 3D sonar on the right hand side of the screen I'm traveling at 2.2 mile per hour and uh, I'm now turning my kayak again you can see the 3D image and the fish all congregating at the bottom of the 18 feet deep of uh, lake you know it's kind of cool kind of interesting to be able to see all this you know it's kind of amazing and uh, I just moved my cursor up so you can see this screen recorder button is actually recording and uh, you know it's Saturday morning 10 13 a.m. it's very cold outside uh, what a speed is 2.0 mile my kayak is uh, 1.6 mile per hour as you can see I'm turning and I'm turning back to the so there is the bearing to weight point 218 degrees true and then um, I guess I'm also um, trying to split this uh, screen again to make it uh, move the screen to the left change the split ratio so that these three the water depth water temperature and speed over ground will be um, placed in the sonar uh, part of the screen instead of the uh, map or the chart uh, part of the screen and you can see this one says 21 the depth is 22.8 feet you know so the bearing is um, right here my this is my boat position uh, longitude and latitude north and west and uh, my course over ground is uh, 228 degrees true and my speed over ground is 2.1 mile per, per hour and you can see some of these red balls meaning uh, fish are in the shallow area as I uh, come uh, uh, back towards the boat ramp and now my uh, bearing is 235 1.8 mile per hour speed over ground my bearing to uh, waypoint is 216 so I need to um, turn my um, instead of 238 I need to, to I need to turn my um, boat to 216 you know and my distance to waypoint is 738 feet like I said before this from here to here is 500 feet it's the scale of the map and you know that's about it here so you know the distance to waypoint 705 feet is about uh, correct and the time is already 428 p.m. so uh, it's time to go home because it's once it gets closer to dark, dark of the day it's in, in January in winter it's in February it's very cold when I get you know leave the lake and go home here you go you know more of uh, floating fish in red color and orange color but more um, fish actually congregating in the bottom here you know I should probably place a waypoint here you know so um, you know there's a waypoint arrival warning 600 feet you know don't know what that was about but anyway so I, I started to drift again 0.6 mile that's why you see this map is actually very interesting it started to sh show these uh, shakes uh, because I um, wanted to you know see the 3d so I kind of uh, turned the 3d uh, screen around use my fingers to see you know this bulk of fish concentration of fish and uh, by the way I'm about 587 feet away from my uh, destination or um, boat ramp now I started to pick up speed uh, to go home again so you know it's 1.2 
uh, one I think I'm uh, playing with the screen that's why I'm spe my speed is down again to 1.6 mile and now the this congregation of fish is to my uh, right of my kayak you know and uh, okay here we go so I did put a, 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 a waypoint in um, this this huge amount of fish uh, area you know so this way I can go back to that waypoint next time so now I'm uh, turning my kayak 1.6 miles around you know to try to go back to this area I think I'm not sure Oh, I changed my mind I'm turning uh, counterclockwise um, you know as you can see my boat here um, and I started to pick up speed to two miles or uh, uh, per hour and I'm almost 500 feet from the um, boat ramp and I'm going back you know speed over the ground is 2.1 mile you can see some fish over here at uh, 23 feet deep and the two red dots you know it's really cool and the bearing is uh, to weight point is 195 degrees true so I'm down to 1.3 again so here is all the rainbow target and the data ball. I guess I wanted to change something again um, Oh, maximum four data can be added. So that's one, that's two. Oh, here we go. So edit, and I decided to delete. Okay, so I just deleted that, and I'm changing it to a different data selection, which um, I'm not sure what, um, you know. So let's see what uh, I picked. Oh, I picked the distance to waypoint, which is 535 feet, and that's about right because from the my boat to the boat ramp, it, you know, versus the scale here, you know, that's about 538 feet versus this distance which is you know almost the same as this scale so it's kind of correct and I started to pick up speed to go back towards the ramp now speed over uh, ground is one mile you know and I'm using rate remote control or app you know to um, to mirror uh, what's on the Axiom 9 inch multi uh, function display onto my iPhone that's what that um, app uh, free app was doing so here we go so I'm almost uh, home 469 feet continue to decrease that distance to wake point that DTW stand for distance to wake point continue to drop because I'm getting closer to boat ramp and the depth is still 25.8 feet um, I can see to the right and to the left of my boat and it's very interesting um, you know all the fish are congregating in the bottom and now uh, the fish are actually to my right um, you know as I you know see the contour line here 15 feet of water this is a contour line of 15 feet of water in, uh, uh, in in gray color and now I'm only 387 84 feet uh, away from the boat ramp and you know so I'm going back to this and trying to delete something I don't know what I'm trying to delete here you know so I'm only 377 feet away oh I guess I'm changing the uh, distance the waypoint size to small um, so that it doesn't look that big and I'm also moving this distance to waypoint to the upper right hand corner of the map and chart to uh, have that out of the way now I'm turning around uh, towards the boat ramp again because I just drifted away from the boat ramp I just turned myself around now my speed over ground is 1.9 mile and water temperature is 41 depth is 15 feet it's decreasing um, uh, very fast and this is my kayak it's not an open bow boat you know so I uh, don't know um, you know so these are okay I don't know what I'm doing here uh, added data layout okay so I'm changing this distance to waypoint moving it to um, you know that corner not sure why but this is um, now the depth is only 14 feet see some yellow dots meaning that these fish are at the bottom of the lake you know because it's it's in the seven uh, color rainbow colors um, you know red is the shallowest closest to the surface and the so it's the seven colors are red orange you know so the next level under the surface is the orange and then yellow and then green and then um, you know all the way down to violet which is the bottom of the color or blue you know so 
it's uh, kind of interesting. Now I am 300 feet away from the boat ramp and I'm picking up speed of two mile per hour going back. The depth is only nine feet deep, one story high. Um, and now I'm almost uh, to the boat ramp, you know, and depth is only eight feet deep. I won't show you this until depth is zero feet because uh, then my transducer is going to hit the ground and my um, foot pedal is going to hit the ground as well. So I'm going to terminate this video or um, shut off this uh, Raymarine uh, display pretty soon, you know, because as you can see, I'm actually heading towards the boat ramp in any second now or um, I'm gonna beach in any second now. Depth is only six feet tall, which is, uh, you know, a person's height, you know, the tall guy's height and the water temperature. And uh, as you can see, the distance, the waypoint stop uh, changing, stop decreasing. So the minimum, I guess, distance, the waypoint is 300 feet. You know, that's why it's not changing, even though I'm still moving closer or actually I'm drifting now because I'm actually putting away my or uh, uh, raising my transducer uh, bar. Now depth is 5.9 feet. I'm also raising my um, uh, pedal drive and here's more fish. You can see over here in red color, you know, they're in the sur they're, they're, they're by the surface now. OK, so I just. Uh, engage this power off button so my uh, display is going to go off in any second so there you have it this is part two of the um, 3d sonars of the Berk Lake and please subscribe for my next one because my next one will show you the site imaging of what's down in the bottom of the Berk Lake um, I did see some interesting findings or um, sunken treasures, uh, not sunken boats, uh, not confirmed, but uh, it's something interesting at the bottom of the lake. There you have it. Please subscribe. Thank you.